let's go ahead and take a look at our championship week and we're going to start off with friday that's going to be the mac championship game and um actually the mac getting plenty of exposure this year uh really marketing their conference well uh dominating midweek football they owned midweek when it come uh when it came to football uh they play mondays tuesdays wednesdays thursdays i mean any night of the week you could find a mac football game uh it was uh named maction they called it maction so anyway northern illinois takes on buffalo that is a seven o'clock eastern kickoff this friday night at ford field in detroit uh all starts eastern standard time now buffalo opened the betting as the four point favorite and the total at 48 and a half and since those markets opened this one up uh we're actually seeing a slight fade of buffalo in the early going here we're also seeing movement toward the over when it comes to the total right now buffalo's minus three and a half with the total moving upward to 49 and a hook so once again the buffalo bulls open four now three and a half total open 48 and a half up to 49 and a hook 65 percent are back on buffalo 76 percent are still leaning toward the over and at the moment northern illinois is plus 145 for some money line cash now if you're looking forward uh if you're looking toward uh northern illinois in this matchup here if you like them in an upset just keep in mind buffalo is one of the better covering uh teams in the nation they're nine and two ats overall five and one against the number in their games away from home uh more impressively buffalo's eight and one against the spread laying the points this year 4-0 against the spread as the official road favorite meanwhile on the northern illinois side of things they're scoring just 20 points per contest away from home they're also throwing for just 149 pass yards as well uh northern illinois uh failed to cover the spread in their last couple of games they're also just two and three against the spread when catching the points and scoring wise buffalo eight and three to the over for the year four and two to the over in their games away from home meanwhile this uh, northern illinois defense they're giving up 24 points per game on the road they're allowing 106 rush yards away from home as well so with all that said and done got to lean toward the chalky play in this one give me buffalo minus three after buying the half a point and the over 49 and a half in this one and before we get into some more lines of personal liens i just want to welcome you to the show got some lines of personal liens for uh, college football championship week 2018 but before we get into some more of that i just want to quickly remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash brock page i'm with a uh documented record of nine uh, i'm sorry 10 2 and 1 in my last 13 daily best plays you're certainly costing yourself some valuable information each and every day you're not uh subscribed to that website it's been an absolutely great run for the uh, daily best plays now memberships begin at just one dollar and 99 cents per month that'll give you access to that daily best play and uh, there's also plenty of free content there on patreon as well so uh, please feel free to just hit that pause button right now open up your browser all you got to do is type in patreon.com slash brock page it only take you a couple seconds link is in the description section below and if you are a current patron of mine and you're currently watching me right now I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly make it all worth it. And with all that said and done, let's go ahead and hop back into some more lines and personal liens for Championship Week 2018 college football. All starts once again Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we have the other game on Friday night. That is going to be Utah uh, taking on Washington Pac-12 Championship. That's going to go down at Levi Stadium in the Bay Area. That's an 8 o'clock Eastern kickoff this Friday. The Huskies of Washington open the betting as the four and a half point favorite in the total at 44. And since those markets open this one up, uh, we're seeing steady movement toward Washington and the over. And actually, if I read it correctly, I believe this is the lowest opening total uh, out of uh, in some time. Uh, it might be ever. I'm not sure. Lowest opening total in these championship games. Uh, during championship week in a very long time but anyway uh washington taking a little money they're now minus five total moving upward half a point to 44 and a half so once again the huskies open four and a half up to five total open 44 up to 44 and a half 55 percent are still leaning washington 68 percent are still shaded toward the over and at the moment utah is plus a dollar 80 
for some money line cash. Now, Utah went seven and four against the spread this year in their qualifying games. I know that there was uh, one game that was uh, not on the board at most markets. Uh, also, six and two against the spread in their last eight qualifying ball games. Utah has some marquee covers over the likes of BYU, Oregon, and Stanford. Uh, Utah is also 4-2 against the spread in their last six away from home. Their defense is allowing just 18 points per contest away from home as well. Meanwhile, on the Washington side of things, very impressive team this year, but they're just 3-8 and eight against the number overall. Uh, they failed to cover in four out of their last six away from home as well. Uh, more concerning for uh, Washington backers, uh, they're just 2-7 and seven against the spread when laying the points. They've also failed to cover in three out of their last four as the official road favorite. Now, scoring-wise, both defenses are absolutely stacked. Uh, Utah is uh, giving up just 18 points per contest uh, at any location, uh, either home or away. They're giving up just 18 points per contest at any location this year. Uh, they're also giving up just 95 rush yards per game on the road. Meanwhile, on the Washington side of things, their defense is giving up just 18 points per contest, 189 yards through the air. They're also 8-3 and three to the under. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward an underdog in this one. Give me Utah plus 5 in the under, 44.5 in this one. All right, next game, we are going to look at some... Big 12 action. I'm talking about Texas taking on Oklahoma. 12 o'clock Eastern tip-off this Saturday at AT&T Stadium. That is the Big 12 championship, Texas-Oklahoma. Now, the Sooners open the betting as the 7.5-point favorite. No surprise there. Total open at 77.5. And, and since those markets open this one up, no real surprises when it comes to line movement. Oklahoma's taking a little money. We're also seeing movement upward on the total as well. Oklahoma is now minus eight with the total moving upward to 78 flat. Uh, once again, Oklahoma opened seven and a half up to eight, total open 77 and a hook up to 78 even. 51% are now on Texas, 69% still shaded toward the over. And at the moment, the Longhorns are plus 270 for some money line cash. Now, Texas has successfully covered the number in three out of their last four ball games. They're also three and one straight up in their last four on the road. This Texas offense is putting up 32 points per contest, and they're also rushing for 156 yards on the ground per game. Uh, another thing to note is that Texas is a perfect 3-0 and against the spread, catching the points this year. Now, on the Oklahoma side of things, very explosive this year, very exciting to watch, but not great for their backers. They're just 4-8 and eight against the spread overall. They failed to cover in four out of their last five away from home. This Oklahoma defense is giving up 32 points per contest and 162 yards on the ground. Uh, more concerning for Oklahoma backers is that uh, Oklahoma is just 4-8 and eight against the spread, laying the points this year. Now, total-wise... Once again, a lot of points when it comes to these Oklahoma games. 11-1 to the over so far. 5-0 and to the over in their games away from home. This Oklahoma offense is averaging 50 points per contest. Meanwhile, their defense is allowing 33 points per contest as well. Meanwhile, on the Texas side, they're 4-2 to the over in their games on the road. 4-1 to the over, taking on teams averaging more than 32 points per game. So with all that said and done, doesn't really make sense, but I got to do it. Give me Texas plus 8. And the over, 78 points in this one. All right, next game. It is going to be, let's see if we can find it. There it is. Memphis taking on UCF Central Florida. That is the AAC Conference Championship. 3.30 Eastern kickoff this Saturday. UCF opened the betting as the 5.5 point favorite. Total at 70. And since those markets opened this one up, no real surprises here as UCF's quarterback suffered that compound fracture just absolutely devastating injury uh we're obviously seeing a fade of ucf in the early going here and we're obviously seeing movement downward on the total uh, right now ucf is just minus three with the total moving downward to 65 even so once again central florida open five and a half now three total open 70 down to 65 even uh memphis Pretty good covering team this year. 7-4 and four ATS overall for their games that were on the board. Their offense is averaging 44 points per contest. Uh, they have marquee covers over the likes of Houston, ECU, and this very 
UCF team. They covered the number in their first meeting with UCF earlier in the year. Now, Central Florida once again lost their quarterback. Horrible injury. Uh, their defense uh, is allowing 21 points per contest on the road. And more concerning, their defense is allowing 220 rush yards per game away from home. Absolutely baffling number there. Now, UCF 8-3 and three the under overall. 3-1 uh, to one the under in their games away from home. They were also 7-2 and two to the under when the line was over 60 points. Uh, meanwhile, on the Memphis side, four out of their last eight stayed under the line themselves. They were also 3-2 and two to the under in their games away from home. So with all that said and done, I got to take another underdog. Give me Memphis plus three and the under 65 points in this one. All right, next game. Now this is the one uh, everybody's going to be watching. Uh, huge huge numbers. This one's really going to move that needle. All right. I'm talking about Alabama taking on Georgia SEC championship game, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, four o'clock Eastern kickoff. Bama opened the betting as the 12 and a half point favorite total at 64. And since those markets opened this one up, no real surprises here as Bama's taking a little money. We're also seeing movement downward on the total. Right now, Bama is the 13 point favorite with the total moving downward to 63 and a hook. So once again, Alabama opened 12 and a half up to 13. Total open 64 down to 63 and a half. 55% are now on Georgia when it comes to the consensus. And 62% are now shaded toward the over. So expect some more line movement on this game. At the moment, the Georgia Bulldogs are plus 415 for some money line cash. Now keep in mind, Bama has gone 7-4 and four against the spread overall for the year in their qualifying games that were on the board. The Russell are 3-2 and two against the number in their games away from home. Uh, Bama's gone 5-0 and oh ATS in their last five games. Now let's take a look at the spreads. Uh, in their last five games that they successfully covered. We've had spreads of 25 and a half, 21 and a half, 14, 29 and a half, and 28. So we're not just talking about small covers here, small single digit covers. We're talking about huge double digit multi-score covers. Unbelievable. Now the Georgia defense, they're allowing 128 rush yards per game. Uh, a bunch of guys are out on their defensive side of things this Saturday. Uh, they've also failed to cover in two out of their last four games away from home. Now scoring wise, Alabama's defense is allowing just 13 points per contest, 168 passing yards per game. Meanwhile, on the defensive side of things for Georgia, they're no slouch either. Despite uh, having some guys out this Saturday, they're allowing just 17 points per contest on their sides, uh, side of things. They're also um, allowing just 175 passing yards per game as well. So with all that said and done, got to lean toward the chalk. I have no reason to fade Bama in this spot here. Give me Alabama minus 13 in the under 63 and a half in this one. All right, next game. This is going to be the Mountain West Conference Championship. Fresno State at Boise State. Uh, 745 at Albertson Stadium, the Smurf Turf. I believe that's where this one's being played. That's what I saw there. So uh, just a glorified home game for Boise in the uh, Mountain West Conference Championship. Now Boise opened the betting as the three-point favorite in the total at 49. And since those markets opened this one up, we're actually seeing a slight fade of Boise, and we're seeing movement toward the over. Right now Boise is just two and a half with the total moving upward to 52 even. So once again, Boise State open three, down to two and a half, total open 49, up to 52 flat. 64% uh, are back on Boise, 58% shaded toward the over. And at the moment, Fresno is plus a buck and a quarter for some money line cash. Now, if you're leaning toward Fresno in this matchup here, just keep in mind that they failed to cover the number in their last three straight. They're also 0-3 against the spread, taking on teams allowing less than 25 points per contest. Meanwhile, on the Boise side of things, 8-4 against the spread overall, 7-4 against the spread laying the points. This Boise State team is 4-2 against the spread on the Smurf turf. They're scoring 37 points per contest. And in their prior matchup four weeks ago, Boise got the job done 24-17 against this very Fresno team. Now, total-wise, Fresno's 9-2 to the under. A lot of unders for these guys. 6-0 uh, to the under away from home. Meanwhile, on the Boise side of things, they're 3-0 to the under, taking on teams averaging more than 32 points per contest. They're also 3-0 to the under at home, taking on teams allowing less than 25 points per contest. So I know that's very confusing there, uh, but a lot of unders between these teams. 
Uh, I'm not looking for this one to go over the line on the Smurf turf t- uh, this Saturday. So anyway, with all that baffling said and done, I'm going to go ahead and lean toward Boise. Minus two after buying the half a point and the under. 52 total points in this one. All right, next game. We're actually going to skip down to Clemson at Pit, uh, Clemson taking on Pittsburgh. That is an 8 o'clock kickoff ACC championship game. Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte. That's where the Panthers play. Uh, Clemson opened the betting as a 24-point favorite. Total at 55.5. No real surprises on the movement here. Clemson's minus 27.5 now with the total moving downward to 53. So once again, the Tigers open 24 up to 27.5. Total open 55 and a hook, down to 53 even. 59% are now on Pittsburgh. 76% are now on the over. And at the moment, Pittsburgh's plus 29.20 for some money like cash. Now, this Clemson offense has been just dynamite this year. 46 points per contest, 257 yards rushing. Meanwhile, on the Pitt side of things, they're giving up 28 points per game, 175 rushing yards on the ground. Scoring-wise, Clemson 4-1 to the over in their games away from home. Give me Clemson minus 27 after buying the half a point in the over. 53 total points in that one. All right, next and final game for the show, it is going to be Northwestern Ohio State Big Ten Championship, Lucas Oil Stadium, uh, 8 o'clock kickoff there. Ohio State opened the betting as the 13-point favorite, total at 60. Uh, Since those markets opened this one up, Ohio State's taking money. We're seeing movement toward the over. Right now, the Buckeyes are minus 12 with the total moving upward to 60 and a half. So once again, Ohio State open 13, up to 14. Total open 60, up to 60 and a half. Just keep in mind, though, that Northwestern is 4-1 against the spread in their games on the road, and they are a perfect 7-0 ATS, catching the points. This Northwestern defense is allowing just 17 points per contest on the road, 229 passing yards. They're also 4-1 against the number, taking on teams over 700. So they're doing a great job covering the number against these high-powered winning programs. Now, scoring-wise, Northwestern, 7-5 to the under for the year, 3-1 to the under, taking on teams averaging more than 32 points per contest, really rising to the challenge, taking on these prolific offenses. Meanwhile, on the Ohio State side of things, they're 2-0 to the under, taking on teams averaging less than 25 points per game. They've also, uh, two out of their last four, got under the total as well. So with all that said and done, I'm going to take another underdog in championship week. Give me Northwestern plus 14 and the under 60 and a half in this one. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I just want to uh, quickly remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with a documented win percentage, uh, I'm sorry, a documented record of 10-2-1 in my last 13 daily best plays, You're certainly costing yourself some valuable information each and every day you're not subscribed to that page. Now, memberships begin at just $1.99 per month, and that $1.99 per month will give you access to that daily best play, which we've been crushing it on. So uh, you're certainly, once again, costing yourself some valuable information each and every day you're not subscribed. Um, Yeah, so anyway, don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you're a current patron of mine, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Best of luck with your bets. And as always, don't forget to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page.